and it's the daily, daily, the 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 you think it won't win it, Wiz? We are here, y'all. And I'm so glad to be here on this Power Monday. We're going to get it together and be strong one day. we going to keep working it out. You know how it go with what it's all about. As Cook now. As Cook is in the house. Bow! She about to turn it out. How y'all feeling, man? Listen, this is the Daily Go Get a Business Show. And today we're talking about when you know that they ain't going to make it. When you know, when you know, when you know that they ain't going to make it, let's get into it, y'all. You know we flow like fluid, y'all, and that's real. Listen, today on the Daily Go Get a Mism Show, you know, uh, we're going to talk about something that's real and right and exact. We are the peoples and we know how to act. Uh, keep it all intact. Uh, break them bags. Uh, make sure we keep the money in the sack. Uh, so don't worry, man. Worry not. Worry not. We got this thing going on. And and you know what's going to be your ride. Everything is going to be your ride. Yes, it will. Uh. So uh, sit back, relax, and chill. We're going to chill it well. Yes. When you know that they ain't going to make it. See, when, we, when you say when you know that they ain't going to make it, we could be talking about a couple of things, a few things. In fact... Like you could be talking about when you know that somebody is not going to be successful at something. You know, they may have wanted to be this, that, and the third. They might have wanted to be a king. But they ain't going to be that thing. Oh, no. And you know it. And you're wondering how come they don't seem to know it. Uh, yeah, that could be a rough, tough situation. But it's a situation that many of us come in contact with. But it's going to be all right. We're going to talk about that tonight. It's going to be all right. We're going to talk about that tonight. T. Carrie is right in the house. Uh, bow. She about to turn it out. I said, a T. Carrie is all up in here. Bow. It's good to see you, dear. Yeah. It's going down, baby. Daily go get a message show when you know that they ain't going to make it. I mean, you want them to make it. But you know for a fact that they not there. Emily is in the house. Emily, Emily is in here. Uh, what's going on? Let's cheer. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, how you feeling, ma? Uh, uh, it's good to see you, ma. Oh, yes, it is. Yes, it is. Is Yes. The Daily Go Get a Mism Show, y'all. We're going to rock the spot. Yes, that's how we do. So let's get it popping. Urban therapy with Sun Sun Seven Five Two with this your daily 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 the daily the daily the daily the the daily go get a mism show. We do this every single day, every single day, every day, every day it rains, every day it rains, and the DG will do the same. I'm your host, Sun Seven Five Two, aka Omar with the. And if you can't say Omar with the, well, then you just say Omar with the R. It's the Daily Go Get a Business Show, and it's going down today on this Power Monday. The power, the power, the power. The, said the power. The, power Monday. We are talking about when you know that they ain't going to make it. When you know that they ain't going to make it. Have you ever been in that situation? Maybe you knew somebody that was full of ambition, but low on talent. I said they full of ambition, but they was low on talent. They was full of ambition, but they was low on talent. You knew they wasn't going to make it, but they was fighting valiantly. But it wasn't meant to be, and it was clear to see, but they didn't seem to peep that thing for the I-E-A-E-Y-E. So sometimes you just have to ride out and rock out and ride with a person through their struggle, through their journey, even though you know, like, ugh. Ugh. see, it's not always that bad because sometimes they're not going to make it because they're just not doing something right. I can attest to that. I can understand how that can happen. Sometimes you may have all of the talent in the world, but you don't know how to get people to see your act. Or you are ultra talented, better than a whole lot of cats, but you allow other things to get in the way of you ever being successful. In other words, you have bad interpersonal skills. 
You don't know how to calm down and chain your sensitivities. So when you get around people who could put you in places to be really, really successful, you start acting a fool around them. You start turning them off and they get to thinking like, I thought y'all said he was or she was all that. And you like, I'm trying to tell you that they was all this, all this, that, and the third. I don't know. I, I don't I don't know why they were acting this way today. Oh, okay. Unfortunately for them, today is the day when they needed to learn how to play. Today was the day when they needed to learn how to play. I said today was the day when they needed to learn how to play. I said today was the day when they needed to learn how to play. I said today they was the day they needed to learn how to play. I said today was the day when they needed to learn how to play. I said today was the day when they needed to learn how to play. I said today was the day when they needed to learn how to play. I said today was the day when they needed to learn how to play. I said today was the day when they needed to learn how to play. And they didn't. So that's a different situation. When you know that they're not going to make it if they don't make some adjustments, if they don't make any changes, if they don't get serious, if they don't get focused. That's a whole different kettle of fish. Cow chamber, let me five. Cow chamber, let me five. Cow chamber, let me five. Rita is all up in the house and I love you. Uh, thanks for coming out. Uh. So let's go. When you know that they ain't going to make it. See, it's different when they're not going to make it because of some kind of quirky, quirky tick of theirs, some type of attitude adjustment that needs to be made. You know, they may have a good team, but they have a really bad coach. They need a new coach. That's all they need. They have the talent. They have the talent and team to make it or to be able to compete at a very high level, maybe even a championship level, but they're never going to win that championship or even get to that championship if they don't get better coaching. If the coach doesn't show them how to conduct themselves, it happens. But when you're talking about a more serious situation, when you know that they just don't have it. Have you ever seen anybody pursue a dream that you know is nothing but a pipe dream? Like, I hope that you're happy with the level that you're on because you're not going to be able to ascend to any other level. You just don't have it. You ain't the one. There are times when we have to look at ourselves and be realistic, take a realistic look at, at, at something that we're doing and decide if that was really meant for us. Every dream isn't meant to get above or go above the dream stage. Some dreams aren't meant to wake up from. Some dreams aren't meant to to be trying some dreams aren't meant to morph into reality that's just that's just that's just the long and short of it so maybe maybe even in your own life you've had to think for yourself like you know what uh, i gave this a hell of a run i did i gave this a shot i gave this a shot but it's not going to go down I think I need to go towards a direction that's more conducive to my success because I'm not going to be successful in this. Hmm? This ain't for me. I like it. And maybe it's, it, it, you know, it can be a thing where it's for you as far as you knowing a, a lot about it, but you may not be the one to do it. Maybe you were meant to be a coach and not a player, but you always wanted to be a player. It may be that you were meant to be the producer and not the singer. Maybe you were meant to be the manager and not the producer or the singer. Maybe you were meant to be the fan, the number one fan. Maybe you were meant to be on the street team, a promotion specialist. Because you don't have any managerial skills. You need to be told what to do. You can't manage any anyone else. You can't set up appointments and bookings for anyone else. You can't get anyone to look at anyone else because people looking at you sideways like anybody who mess with you can't be nobody that I would want to take a look at. So maybe you were just meant to put up posters and and go on the internet and you know what I mean and 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 promote something like that. You weren't meant to be on that stage. Other than, oh, yo, other than in an entourage type of, 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 uh, of situation, you know, that's, that just wasn't you. I've had to do it. 
you doing back there, crazy? I've had to do it. I entered I entered my first co- first year of college in spring of 1989, January 1989. I took the I, I didn't go in fall of 88. Went in spring of 89 and I went in there pre-med. Pre-med sound good. I'm gonna be a doctor. And what kind of doctor did I want to be? I wanted to be a heart surgeon. But I wasn't ready. I wasn't ready. And those those classes in that first year let me know, yo, you ain't ready. It's not for you, son. But I didn't know that. I'm thinking, nah, I'm going to give this a shot. And I was giving it a shot. But after a year, damn near flunking out, I had to get back on, you know, get back to where my talents were better suited. So after... Three semesters. After three semesters, I had to say, listen, man, this ain't going to work. This ain't going to work. It's time to go back to the drawing board and let's see what you're good at. I wasn't going to make it. I know if I knew that I wasn't going to make it, somebody else had to have seen it. Like, yo, all that doctor shit you talking about? Come on, dog. You ain't going to make it. That ain't for you. And I'm looking at my man. Once I once I said, listen, this is what I'm good at. I'm good at writing. I'm good at public speaking. So this is what I'm going to do. I decided I was going to go to like political science. I tried that for a semester. I was like, mm, it's all right. Then I went into administration of justice. And then I started winning. Started doing well in those classes. It was interesting stuff. But my dumb ass decides, no, I'm going to be a lawyer. I'm not going to be a doctor no more. I'm going to be a lawyer. Like, cool your heels, son. Cool your heels. Why don't you just concentrate on finding yourself a... Just do good in your classes for a change. You know, now the shit is starting to fall into place. But I was good in English. I was good in English. And I took a minor in um, in theater. But like, all right, that's cool. That was cool. But like I said, if I could see that I wasn't suited for that shit, I know somebody else had to see it. So why didn't anybody say, yo, come on, son, you tripping? There could have been a variety of reasons of why nobody straight up came out and said that. A variety of reasons. You know, maybe somebody didn't want to hurt my feelings. Or I didn't make anybody mad enough to hurt my feelings. Huh? Uh Huh? It could have been that or that they saw that I was passionate enough about something they said well he'll figure it out ain't no telling what it was but i had to change direction so my man after i changed direction my man for the next three years was still talking about being a neurosurgeon not a not the top of, he's talking about being a neurosurgeon this this dude was under a one point for you know below anything below 2.0 is probation he was below he had semesters where he was below a one i'm like yo how are you in school son how are you still here and he never wavered from that i'm going to be a doctor shit he didn't become a doctor i don't even know if he graduated or whatever or if he made adjustments good enough. But I remember three years in, he was still saying, you know, I was, you know, I was still trying to get into medical school. And I was like, what are you talking about? All right. Medical school? Oh. All right. Well, you know. <clears throat> All right. Okay. So, and I have to admit, I never, wait, no. 
I did say, like, yo, you ain't think about changing direction. He was like, Lo, oh, Lo, I will do this. And that's how his voice was. No, I'm, I'm doing this. So, you know, like, you know, I, I'm going to do this shit. Like, there are different ways that you can get into medical school. I'm thinking, like, well, I think one of the best ways to get into medical school is to do good in your classes. I mean, you can only change your, you can only change around your, your, uh, your, uh, curriculum but so much you're going to have to take some medical classes and do well in them so far that doesn't seem to be but I knew he wasn't going to make it in that he did become successful in other things but not in that So there are times when we can fool ourselves into thinking that we're going to make it ourselves. And there are times that we can fool ourselves into um, I'm thinking that somebody else is going to be all right. There are times when we can fool ourselves into thinking that we're or, or somebody else is going to be all right. Emily said, it's feel like a trillion bucks. That's what's up. You're about to give out a stimulus. T. Carey Wright says, there was a young lady at my job that continuously put herself in a position to lose her job over a two-year period. I knew it. I knew when it was coming, and I told her that she needed to get herself together. That's not that bad. Sometimes losing a job can, can wake you up, particularly if you lose a job and then you have a hard time finding another one because you're going to be forced to look at yourself. Annette Davis, the number one. Annette Davis, the number one. What's going on? How you feeling? Good to see you. That's my word. I'm so glad that you came through. Uh, yes. All right. Uh, T. Carry. T. 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 Carry. Right. Says my oldest son wanted to be a rapper. I used to encourage him to learn the business end of it because I didn't have the heart to tell him that the MC path might not be for him. I'm interested to know why you why you thought that the MC path might not be for him, especially in this day and age. Because, well, you know what? Even back in the day, back in the day, you didn't have to be a good rapper to make it. You didn't. We we romanticized the '80s like everybody was really really blowing and spitting like that, but they wasn't in the '80s and the '90s and 2000. Now, you know what I'm saying, like. You know, like, I guess you could argue that young MC could rap. It wasn't like he was fumbling or stumbling. He wasn't even a slow rapper. I didn't like his rap style, though, but he could rap. Corny record. But it's a corny record that will be immortalized as one of the biggest rap hits ever. Just bust the move. If you want it, you got it. Immortalized. MC MC Hammer. Wasn't exactly, definitely wasn't my kind of rapper. Sold an awful lot of records. Couldn't tell some people he couldn't rap. He was dancing. Shoot, you, nobody cared if he could rap. He was dancing his ass off. I didn't even like his dances, to be honest with you. I was like, those are not hip-hop dances. And he dancing. But those are just not those are just not hip hop dances. They and they weren't. You know what I'm saying? Thanks for um sharing the show, y'all. Thanks for liking the um liking the show. Appreciate it. Please, 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 please like the show and please, please share share this program. Share it to all your social media networks. And 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 please, please, please subscribe to the channel. Please, please, I'd appreciate it. I am your host, Sun Seven Five Two, and 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 this is the Daily Go Get It Business Show, aka my name is Omar with the rrr. and uh and tonight tonight on the Daily Go Get It Business Show we are talking about when you know that they ain't gonna make it, you can see it, you can sense it, you are not 
mistaken about this. They just don't have what it takes to be successful at something that they want to be successful at and that they even say that they're going to be successful at. They may just not have it for one reason or another. Angela Lioness Jackson, the lioness, rawr, rawr. What's going on, Angela Lioness? Rawr, rawr. Emily Dunlap says, oh, wait. Taki, my son want to be in that industry and he can tell he can and he can if if that's what he wants. Only thing I tell him is that he's trying to move too fast. He's thinking he can get to the top of uh, um top overnight. No, there's levels to this. Yeah, that's true. TK Wright says his vocabulary wasn't good. He struggled with delivery, even with direction. The tone of his voice isn't one that drew drew you in musically. He looked the part. But it didn't, but but didn't fit the part at that time. Interesting. You know what? I mean, the reason I say it's interesting is this. You know who I thought was one of the wackest rappers ever? Um, um, Eric, Eric, uh Eric Sermon. I thought Eric Sermon was a whack rapper. He raps slow with that nasal voice. You know, uh, uh, so amazing, and I am waiting. You know, I I ain't think his and a lot of people love the way Eric Sermon rock rhyme. And I was like, PMD be crushing him on every song. Y'all don't hear this shit. Listen to Eric's verses and listen to PMD's verses. Like PMD was crushing him every every um um song. But let other people say it, let other people tell it. Eric was killing it. But I'll give it to Eric. He got better. He got better as time went on. He must have listened to his shit. Somebody must have told him, like, yo, man, you got to get your shit up. There's other rappers out here, and even though y'all selling records and everything, they making you look bad out here. Like, wouldn't nobody want to hear you on a um on a on a um on a uh, a collaboration? You know what I'm saying? You know, it's on a duet, it ain't gonna work. So he got better. But he's never been the type of rapper that I wanted to hear. I've never rewound uh, Eric Sermon verse, except maybe when he used to, you know, do that crazy singing. So amazing, and I've been waiting like a worst thing I've heard. Why like, he was taking mad chances? And uh, another rapper, um, Prodigy, Prodigy from Mob Deep. I don't care what nobody say. Garbage, garbage. Couldn't even rhyme on beat. Couldn't rhyme on beat. Took took mad verses off, and Havoc used to be killing him every single song. Every single song where Havoc had a verse, and and um and Pete and, and, and Prodigy had a verse, it was like Havoc was whooping his ass. Like I used to be like, who's the producer on this thing? Because Havoc is waxing that ass and doing good on it. On, on other people's shit. And even and, and I wasn't the only one who recognized that because in his book, My Infamous Life, in Prodigy's own book, he admitted that Havoc was a better rapper and wrote some of his rhymes. And he said that Nas, he said that Nas told Prodigy that he should drop Prodigy because I mean. Nas told um told Havoc that he should drop Prodigy. He said, "Yo, the boy is whack. You a better rapper than him. You need to get rid of him. He garbage." But let a lot of people tell it. Yo, P used to be killing it. Like his style was crazy. He sound to me. He sounded like a um. He sounded like a. He sounded like a rock him without the lyrics and delivery. Cause he, you know, he rhymes slow, mellow, and all of that. Never rock, raising his voice or whatever. He just didn't have the lyrics. It wasn't there. Just wasn't there. So like, Rock him is the God MC, and Havoc was the younger God, uh, godless. Uh, he was the ungodly MC. All right. Anyway, but he. he 
It's five percent, but anyway. But it's interesting that that Carrie, you say his vocabulary wasn't good, because that is definitely not not um a requirement to be a rapper. But I understand where you're coming from, because you 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 um. I can imagine that the way that you look at at at, at rhyming and hip hop, you're looking for you're looking for something special. I can dig it though. So it's tough when it's somebody that you love and you know that they're just not that good at something that they're doing. Like, yo, you ain't this ain't for you. This ain't for you. Like you are right, but this might not be your thing. You know, like, I don't know, but it's tough. And I wonder why, why we don't, um, why we, why don't we let people know how we feel about what they're doing? Why do we, why do we, are we afraid to give them true, a, a true critique or give them the direction that they, that they require? Why do we just hope that they, the light turns on? Why do we plant the seed instead of just dropping it like listen you ain't going to be able to make it doing that mess don't nobody want to hear that now of course we all have different tastes uh everybody doesn't appreciate the same thing and they don't appreciate the same things on the same level however you know uh if you if you uh if you are halfway decent at something that you do. There shouldn't be any reason why you can't build on that, expound on that, take it to the next level. There shouldn't really be a reason that you can't you can't get any better. Should there? I don't think that there should be. So, so what could be the reason? What could be the reason that that we don't step up to the plate? And let somebody know that I, we don't think that they're that good. Is it not our place to do so? I mean, because we may feel that way. We may feel that it's just not our place to put that on somebody. Because it can be disheartening. It can be discouraging when somebody really thinks that they're out there kicking it, killing it, and they're out there playing themselves. I'm, But I'm sure that when I was doing comedy, I'm sure that there were people who were saying, like, man, this dude garbage. He ain't funny. Because you have good nights, you have bad nights. And you may have a string of really bad jokes. Maybe you're trying out new shit. Maybe you're still um, not used to the stage. You still you still have stage fright that you're trying to trying to to mask and get together, or whatever. It happens. And then you just might not be funny enough. Like there aren't, aren't good jokes, but you may have had a, a streak of when you were starting to do better. And those people didn't see that streak. So they think that you're in the same place that you were, but it can happen, you know, shoot. I mean, shoot. I've been, um, I've been booed off stage. And I've been carried off stage you know, on some old crowd surf shit. Like, yo, yo, buy him drinks, suck his dick. Emily says, yes, Taki. At that at the time, he would have gotten a he would have gotten to where he needed to be. As Cook says, you don't wanna, you don't wanna hurt their feelings. I understand. But what what hurts more? You know, be, the elephant in the room being that that you really suck at something that you that you are passionate about, or somebody pulling your coattail. Like, listen, I'm on your side. You know, I'm down with you. You know, I ride with you, and and look, I'll support you in whatever you want to do. But I think that you need to really take a serious look and evaluate what what, what direction that you're headed for with this thing 
Like, because if you want to make money at this thing, I don't think that you're going to be able to make money doing that. Take a look at some of the greats. You know what I mean, I'm not saying that you should pattern yourself after them, but look at some of the greats and, and just think about some of the things that they've done. Look at some of their appeal. Look at their appeal. Now, it's not like you can't forge ahead and, and pioneer something different, but you're probably not going to reinvent the wheel in this industry. You're probably going to have to look at the voice of reason. I mean, the voice of experience or the wisdom of experience and make some adjustments. You know, I mean, why can't we do that? Maybe sometimes our love, maybe sometimes our feelings, maybe sometimes our compassion for for people that we like or love or whatever keeps us keeps us from being truthful with them because we we really when you pull back the layers we're not being honest we, we're not being truthful with them we're telling them oh you did pretty good tonight when we really thinking like yo you still suck you better than last night though because last night she even i was ready to throw tomatoes and it doesn't have to be a showbiz thing like i said they may be pursuing listen some of y'all are parents who are paid for college for your for your for your children, you're gonna you're gonna waste you're gonna take out loans or pay out of pocket all of this money upwards of a hundred thousand dollars now. When you don't really think that they have it in them to even try to finish, or they they're going in a profession where you know they're not they're not going to be able to thrive. They don't have it. You go into college of engineering, you have to be good at math and, and science. It's a requirement. There's no way around it. I don't care what engineering you do. Math and science all day. 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 If you want to go the engineering way, said math, science all day. If you want to go the engineering way, I said math and science all day. If you want to be an engineer today, there's no other way, baby. You got to be good in the math. If you're not good in the math, you ain't got half of the acumen that it's going to take. You're going to get last out of your classes and fail safe. Yo, it's not a good look, baby. It's not a good look when you can't read the book and you try to learn the song, but not the hook. Hey, hey, got to choose something else, baby. Uh. Gotta choose something else, baby. Uh. Like I said, to be in the College of Engineering, you have to be good at math and science going in. Going in to your freshman year. There's no way around it. You're not good at math and science. You barely you barely can factor a polynomial. That is not the pro pro profession for you. You're going to have to be good at calc. You got to go all the way up to calc. You, you find it hard to factor a polynomial? Come on, son. Look, some of y'all like, what's a polynomial? Y'all ain't exactly. No polynomial. Trinomials, polynomial, binomials. D Young is in the house. What's going on, D Young? How you feeling, ma? How you doing? How you doing? Uh TK Ray says. I was very supportive because I felt like I could I could have been wrong. He was young and there wasn't and there was room for growth if he wanted it bad enough. I agree. Okay, D Young says, depends on what it is. I don't want to trash someone's dreams. I hear that. But I mean, th there's a way that you can do it without trashing their dreams. You don't have to come off like an enemy. And I think that one of the reasons that we don't like to be confrontational. I mean, to, to somebody that we like or, or that we love is that we don't want to come off as if as if we're hating on them or that we don't believe in them or that we're non-supportive. But we're actually being more supportive. And we just have to get it together. You know, we just have to make sure that we don't tell them what they need to know without sounding like somebody who is in opposition of them. So instead of being like, yo, man, you whack. Yo, get that shit out of here. Don't buy away that shit. We don't have to do that. You can just be like, listen, let me pull your coat a little, about a little something. You know, like one of the things that you can do, if they're trying to be a singer or a rapper or, or a comedian or actor or something like that, tape them. Tape them and have them listen to themselves. Be like, yo, how you think you sound? They can't deny it. They can't deny it. 
you know, you can't, you can't, you know, you can't, you you can't deny. It. Once you hear yourself on tape, if you haven't heard yourself on tape, some of y'all won't even listen to y'all voicemail or or put a voice on your voicemail. You be like, now that don't sound like me. It does sound like you. That's how you sound to everybody else in the world. But the bone structure in your in the bones and the vibrations going to your auditory canal in, in your ears and your ears make you sound different to yourself than you do to everybody else in the world. But once you start getting used to hearing yourself, you realize that you sound like every the way that everybody else hears you and you will eventually start hearing yourself the way that everybody else hears you. So there's a way to do it. And we we owe it to them to do it if we're really supportive of them. Like, listen, I just let me let you hear this tape of yourself. They're gonna hear it. And eventually, they're gonna have to make some adjustments. Okay. Uh, S. Cook says, if they ask me, I tell them my opinion. I wouldn't just offer. Okay. Well, what if it was your daughter or your son or your brother or your sister or your, or your auntie or your uncle or your, or your friend because next door neighbor or your friends or your, 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 your bestie, your, 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 your bestie. You going to let them make a fool of themselves. Running around here, you know what I mean, like Whitney Houston talking about some yo the original art, um, the original king of R and B. That's right, that's my baby, the original king of R and B. Like yo, 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 chill, ratchet mama at the graduation. I said ratchet mama at the graduation. I said ratchet mama at the graduation. She's so proud, but. He graduated high school when he was 21. Graduated high school when he was 21. Graduated high school when he was 21. He had a little too much fun, but he was dumb, y'all. He was dumb, y'all. It's a minor miracle. He got one, y'all. He's dumb, y'all. He's dumb, y'all. And he ain't the only dumb little son, y'all. Yo, you know how it go when you had three sons and they dumb. And then... The last one. Uh, but hey. He graduated when he was 21 years old from high school. The young nigga was in the 15th grade. He was in the 15th grade. George Bush said, no child left behind. He forgot about this one. He left behind. He left behind. He left behind. He left behind. You in a, you, you in the third grade. Third, third. You in the third grade. You, the third grade. 81, 82, and 82. Uh, uh, you in the third grade. In third grade, <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. All right. D Young says, "Well, now, well, now I ain't gonna lie to him. If they ask and I don't like, I'll be honest. I hear that." He says, "Damn it." Now I got to record myself. I wonder how I sound. I guess I haven't heard my own voice since back in the answer machine days. <laughs> D-Young says, she's 21. Yes. I knew people who was 21 years old and they finally graduated high school because they was kind of dumb. <laughs> they was kind of dumb. Selling all kinds of drugs. You know what I'm getting money, get 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 money. So you might have flunked one grade twice. I mean, you know, you might have flunked two grades twice. So maybe you flunked the fifth grade two times, and then you flunked the tenth grade two times. Then you then you took off eleventh grade and you and you finally went to 12th grade, uh, uh, 
Yeah, you lost three years. It was like you was a grown man drinking beers. You was the only high school student that could drink beer. You was only high school with the ideas. You were the only high school student. You was old. You, yo, 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 yo. You was old as some of the teachers, but they still couldn't really reach you. You was fly and drift and had gold chains. Had a car, yo, I can't explain how come you had all of this money but still couldn't get a fucking diploma, you dummy, that's word. Anyway, when you know that they ain't going to make it, they ain't going to make it. They, like, this ain't, this ain't you, son. This ain't you, boo. We got to find something else that you can do because you can't do this well. And when you start trying to do it, people be like, what the hell? Why is he up on the stage? Why is he up on the mic? Yo, why is he saying everything that a nigga don't like? Give me your break. Uh. So it could be something in school. It could be a career choice. All right, let's move away from that kind of success. Because you can, you, how many of us have been in the situation or witnessed the situation where you know that somebody was pursuing somebody else and that wasn't the, that wasn't the area where they should have been pursuing. Yo, I understand that she's a red bone and she had the boom in the bow, the bow and the boom, uh, boom in the bow, the bow and the boom up. Uh. But she playing the ball. She don't like him. So any, I mean, she don't like him, but he getting a couple of dollars. So she's entertaining him. It's all good. Right. But you know, this cat really thinking that, you know what I mean? Because he, because they together, at least that's that's the way it seems, that they going to be all right. And their marriage is going to be all right. But that shit is being held together by bubble gum and shoestring. They ain't got no foundation. And, and that is a, that's a sticky situation because you, you know, many of us don't feel like we're qualified to delve into somebody else's relationship and tell them what they should be doing and what they shouldn't be doing. Uh, uh. I know I won't. I learned the hard way. I learned the hard way. I don't get in nobody else's relationship. It, it, listen, if you like it, I love it. Oh, that's your girl? Mm. But you know, you know, as soon as their relationship gets tested, in any kind of way, they're gonna fa they're gonna fail that test. They ain't ready. It's not a good look. They're not. It's not a good look, son. Hey yo, son. Hey yo, son. Um, you know it'd be tough, and you may have gone through it yourself, fooling yourself. Like somebody is going to get better. They're going to change. You know, they're going to change. You know, they're just young. They're just wild. They're just doing their thing. They're they going to be all right. They're going to turn into a king. They're going to be okay. They're going to turn into a king. They're going to be all right. They're going to turn into a king. They're going to be all right. They're going to turn into a king. They're going to be all right. They're going to turn into a king. Ain't a thing, y'all. Ain't a thing, y'all. He's going to turn into a queen or a king, y'all. Everything is going to be all right. Why? Because I love up to the end of you don't believe me well you just watch and you know how that is when a motherfucker when you try to tell somebody you know what's wrong what's wrong with something that they're doing and they be like oh you just hate me so then they want to try harder because they got to prove you wrong like oh such and such is going to tell me that me and my boo uh, me and my boo uh, me and my boo uh, me and my boo ain't gonna make it she jealous of you uh uh Yo, me and my boo, yeah, you ain't gonna make it, you jealous of you, uh. I said, me and my boo, yeah, she coming around here, she ain't got no man, and she trying to tell me that mine won't stand up for me. That's a lie, y'all, that's a lie, y'all. He 
fly, yo. He fly, I'm fly. We are together. He would never leave me back. Bad brother, that's words, y'all. That's words, y'all. That's words, y'all. That's my words, y'all. He's going to be with me to the end of all time. He at least be with me to the end of this ride. We going to make it. 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 You can't tell me nothing about me and my food. You need to get one of them just for you. We going to be all right. Gonna be all right. Gonna be all right. We gonna be all right. Yeah, I can't believe you said that to me. You a hater. H A T E. You hate baby. You hate baby. You hate baby. You hate baby. You ain't never had a man like I got for me. You is a whack. W A C. You ain't never gonna be happy. You ain't never gonna be happy. You ain't never gonna be happy. I know how it be. So, yeah, we have to kind of watch it when we try to advise, when we try to help, when we intervene, especially in matters of the heart. You don't understand. She gets wet for me. I get it hard for her. Uh, we was meant to be. Uh, don't you understand? What's wrong with you? You ain't never had a B-O-O -O. boo. <laughs> Shisha, 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 Charlene Curry. A ch 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 Charlene Curry. What's going on, Sha Charlene? How you feeling, Sha Charlene? What's up, my? An injustice for our injustice free. R. Kelly, peace, brother. Just dropping in. Hope everyone is being so good to see. Thanks for coming through, my bro. My bro, I appreciate you. Mm, that's my word. That's my word. Appreciate y'all coming through, man. You know what I mean? Come holler at come holler at your boy. Come holler at your boy. And then David says, I've definitely been there and I've definitely expected too much from the wrong people. Be that way. But what would you have said if somebody would have came along and told you, like, listen, look, listen, Annette, y'all ain't gonna make it. This is not a good situation. This is bad. You know what I mean? You see the way he move. You see the way he act. You see the way they do. You, do, do, you don't see that shit? You don't see that shit, boo? You see the way they act. You see the things they already see the way they do? You don't see that shit, boo? You need to get somebody for you and yourself. You need to get somebody that's better for your health. You need to get somebody that'll be by your side. Not that motherfucker want to go out like body and Clyde. You get shot up. Bow, 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 bow. You get shot up. Bow, 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 bow. You get shot up. Bow, 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 bow. And y'all was together from the beginning to the end now. It's not exactly what you're looking for, ma. No, no. No, no. No, no. Emily says, that's me. I don't, I don't like my voice on answer machines. I sent someone a video clip of, of a message and he said my voice sounded okay. I think he was just being nice. You sound the way you sound. Sound the way you sound. Ain't nothing, ain't nothing to it. What you hear on that tape is how everybody hears you, and that's the way they've been hearing you since way back in the day. You know, since you start talking. You know, a gaga, a goo goo, a mama, a dada, 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 Especially when you're talking to young people. You can you be like, listen, 21 Savage is garbage. Oh my God, you hating. And yo, the beehive said, the beehive said, anybody who disagree with anything, be do. Uh, yo, yo, y'all hating. Y'all like to see black people do good. Y'all like to see black people do good. Oh my God. Whatever, man. Whatever. Can't we disagree respectfully? So yeah, when you when you know that they ain't gonna make it, it can be a tough situation. It can be a very very tough situation. You sitting there watching watching this train wreck, watching watching this plane go down. You know, you know. People, I don't think people really understand what it's like to watch a plane go down. I don't think people understand it from the perspective of the people that are on the plane. Like, yo, I people be like, yo, what was they, what do you think their last words were? 
I'll be like, I think they last words were, oh my God, what the fuck? Oh shit. Oh, oh. Yo, straighten up this fucking play. Oh shit. Oh my God. Oh my God. Oh shit. Ah. I would imagine it's something like that. I would imagine. I would imagine. I would imagine. And then David says, I was ignored. I mean, I was told that, but I ignored it. I mean, when, when that's the case, I mean, who can you blame, though? They told you. They told it you. And then they said, I've heard myself on video, and I definitely have a very squeaky voice to me. Really? Really? Squeaky? I wouldn't say that. And he says, okay. Thanks for liking and sharing, sharing the, uh, the show. Charlene Curry, everybody, I appreciate y'all. Each and all, but yeah, man, yeah, uh, shit. I mean, really, 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 you could be in any type of profession or any or. or or be in pursuance of any type of endeavor. And it could look to somebody like you really just don't have what it takes. But you know deep down in your in, in your heart how good you are at something when you decide or not to um to um compete. Like if somebody challenges you. If somebody challenges you to a little duel of what y'all do and you like, you know, you know how it is. You, you kind of try to throw them off the scent of the trail. Like, nah, I ain't, it ain't about all about competition. You know what I'm saying? You know, uh, we, you know, we ain't, we don't have to compete. We just doing our thing. Right. You know why you saying that shit? Cause you know you about to get smoked. You know you're not ready. You're not ready for that. You're not ready to battle. And then you have cats who who all who only want to battle. All they're good. They're good in a in a competitive setting. But that that's like that's like the difference between a battle rapper and a rapper who makes records. The battle rapper who I mean the the rapper who makes records is going to make millions of dollars and be famous all over the world. The battle rapper will always be like, yo, I'm a better MC than all of the motherfuckers. I can beat them. I can beat any of them. But guess what? Nobody's paying for you to beat them. Or and, and they're not going to battle you. They know that you can, that you're lyrically more adept and skilled than they are. But they just went platinum. And you ain't. You battling for five or ten thousand dollars. Shoot. They make that. They ain't seen that kind of low money in a minute, but but I but I understand. I do. I want to switch gears slightly, actually, in a big way, because the other part of this is when. See, we was having so much fun. I wasn't going to go into this thing, but it's the elephant in the room, as far as I'm concerned, and I put it in the in the description of the show. When you know somebody is sick to the point where you know that they're not going to make it. You know they're not going to make it. You know that they're sick, and you know that they're not going to really get any better. And that's a harsh reality to have to face up to. When you know somebody, when you watch their progression, you see that they're getting sicker and sicker and sicker, particularly in 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 uh in terminal illnesses, especially cancer. Like, damn. You know how it is. You're really, really hoping that they're going to get better. You're really hoping that something is going to turn their condition around. Maybe, maybe the cancer will go into remission. Maybe the chemo will start working miraculously. The radiation. Maybe we'll we'll try some naturopathic um, remedies or whatever. You know, get the team involved. And I, I wonder, I wonder if people can feel that energy of you you losing hope or losing your optimism that they're going to recover and then, and then 
you know, we're going to be able to put the band back together and everything is going to be all right. We're going to go back on tour. And you know, you know, damn well, ain't no, ain't going to be no more tour. And our last tour date was the last tour date. You can't go back. You can't go back on tour because you're not healthy enough and you're not going to be healthy enough. This is a wrap. It's disheartening. It is. It's, it's a tough situation. It's hard to face up to. And it's hard for you. And it's harder. It's, it may be harder for them because they feel your energy and they want to get. Have you ever have you ever witnessed somebody that, that was sick and they wanted to get better for you? It didn't even look like they were in it for themselves anymore. They just wanted to give you that optimism. As much and as much pain that they were in. They really just wanted to get better to see you smile. They wanted to see, they wanted to give you some hope. When they left, they didn't want to leave you behind. How tough that has to be for somebody that's in that situation. And they, they're still selfless enough in their acceptance of their condition that they, they're just worried about the onlookers. They're worried about the crowd. They're worried about the audience. Like, I know y'all don't want to see, I know y'all want to see me win and I'm not going to win this. And you see it. Sometimes you get in denial of it. Like, nope, I'm not looking. It's tough. It's very, very tough. And then Davey says, at my job, we're shutting down on the, on, um, and they offered us a job at the 9-11 center. Now I know that's not for me, so I turned it down. Hmm. TK Wright says, when someone is ill, the best thing that we can do is bring joy, bring joy to the time that they have left as best as we can. Hmm. Carol Chamberlain says, with cancer, we want to try everything, but the reality is reality is I don't think anything will help. I went through this with my I went through this with my brother, and I don't think he wanted to leave his children. You know, revealing thing for you because you have to get in touch with your your version or your your uh, conception of pleasure, pain, acceptance, or rejection, reality, and fantasy beginnings and endings you know quality of life versus just being alive lately i've gotten on people and i know i sound like a hater but you know i i, I it kind of grinds my gears a little bit i ain't even going front when I ask somebody how they doing, you know, you see me like, yo, you know, hey, what's going on with you? You know, how's everything? And they say something like, yo, I woke up this morning and they're being positive. And here I am. Like, you woke up this morning. Yo, come on, son. You got to do better than that. And you're like, what you talking about? The Lord blessed me to get up this morning. I'm like, the Lord blesses everybody to get up this morning. But the thing is, a lot of people got up this morning sicker than the day they was sicker than they were the day before. So just getting up in the morning, that's not a blessing. Because if you don't get up in the morning, if you pass that night, that wasn't a curse. So waking up, if 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 just waking up is a blessing, then that means not waking up is a curse. But we accept that when you don't wake up anymore. That your work is done here, and now you can live life eternally in the spirit world. So isn't that the blessing? You know when you wake up this morning, it's going to be some shit throughout the day. I know it sounds good. I woke up this morning. The Lord blessed me to wake up this morning. A lot of people didn't wake up this morning, but are they cursed? I know I woke up this morning. I feel blessed. Good Lord, help me wake up this morning. I know that I'm blessed. Are you blessed? Are you blessed? The people who didn't wake up this morning, are they blessed? Are they cursed? What happened? Uh.
I know, I know. I you know, I mean, I'm always pushing the envelope on some shit, right? My bad. My bad. My 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 bad. But yeah, I don't know, man. You know, I don't know, but I don't know. It's just. When when you're dealing with somebody and they're very ill, you know how with an emotional toll that takes on on yourself, your whole psyche, your whole you know, it just it fucks with you. You know, they I mean? like it, you know, hurts your feelings, and you don't want to bring them down, so you're trying to hold it down for. Them. Yeah, you know I mean, you trying to hold it down for him, son. But the reality of it is, you see it, and they see it. So it's the elephant in the room, in the in the room grows bigger and bigger, while pretending to be unnoticed more and more, more and more. Wow, 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 wow. So yeah, so it's a little tough, son. It is. It's, it's, it's a little tough, and um, it's a less than favorable position for 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 any and all of us. But it's something that we have to deal with. You know what I'm saying we gotta deal with it. So when you know that they're not gonna, they're not gonna make it. Carol Chamberlain says you got to be prepared for the ish every day and deal with that, deal with life, deal with what life gives you. I feel it is a blessing to wake up every day and try to do better myself and and, and my situation. I'm just saying, okay. Look, I'm not gonna take away y'all metaphor. I'm not gonna take away y'all cliche. I'm not gonna take that away. What, what, what do I know? What do I know? You know what I mean? I'm, I, there, there's a very good chance that I overthought that and that, you know, that I need to just, you know, sit back, relax, and chill. You know, everything don't need all. We don't need you for this, oh. We, we don't need you for that. <laughs> I accept that. It's cool. It's cool. It's cool. We about to get up out of here in a minute. About to get up out of here in a minute. But, you know, like when you know that they ain't going to make it, when you know that they ain't going to make it, maybe they're going to make it in this world, but they're not going to make it in that profession. Maybe they're going to make it to heaven, but they ain't going to make it very much farther in this world. And this world is over. And this world is a wrap. And this world is done. Yeah. Hmm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. For anybody, for the people who are listening to the show, please remember to remember to to push that like button, man. Push the like button, and make sure that you share the show. And please, by all means, by all means, subscribe to the channel. If you haven't subscribed to the channel yet, if you're still on the on the fence about subscribing to the channel, don't be on the fence about it. It's gonna be your ride. Yeah, I promise you, would be your ride. That's my word. Uh. We do this every day. It's the daily go get a business show, baby. We do this every er day. Every day, every single goddamn day, baby. Where would I? So let's do these uh birthday shout outs and then let's keep it pushing. We're gonna do the birthday shout outs, man. We're gonna do the birthday shout outs. Some people were born on this glorious, glorious, glorious. Aries, March 23rd, and they deserve to be acknowledged. So let's go about our business of acknowledging them and making them feel special because they are special, because they are special, because they are S-P-E-C-I-A-L. They are S-P-E-C-I-A-L. They are number one out the box. Felicita Anju, An 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 Anduja. Anduja, happy birthday to you. And also Mimi Bright. Happy birthday to you, Mimi. And also Rochelle Allison, turning 46 years old today. Happy birthday to you. And Erica Lett. 
Erica Lett, who's raising money for the St. Jude's Children's Research Hospital. Happy birthday to you. And she's turning 45 years old at day 45. She holds Oh, shit, y'all. She got a 40. Bow, 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 bow. Yeah, what's up now? Uh, happy birthday to you, Erica. And also Jeffrey Norris. Happy birthday to you. And Francia, Francia, Sorel, Sorel. I said, Francia, Francia, Sorel, Sorel. And Kami Danielle, Kami Danielle, turning 45 years old today. She got a 45. Yo! Bow, 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 bow. Ah! And also Fufu Johnson, turning 38 years old today. He got a 38. Ba, 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 ba. Ha, ha. Yeah. And Don Don Bank, Banks, also turning 38. Yeah, and my man Shaheem, Shaheem Washington, he got a 40, turning 40, first year in the 4040 club, he turning up, fresh out of the 30s, fresh into the 4040 club, sit back, relax, and chill, relax, we gonna hold you down for the next nine, ten years, whatever, yo, do your thing, Shaheem, he got a 40, y'all, he got a bow, 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 bow. Yeah, yeah. What's up now? And Barbara McGrath Green, happy birthday to you. And Wafia and Prezion and Prezion Hakeem. Wafia and Prezion, but it's like Emprezion Hakeem, turning 55 years old today. That's my girl, too. Deuce Nichols. And also Stephanie Whaley, happy birthday to you, Stephanie. And last but certainly not least, my girl Esther Farrow. E. Farrow's in the house. That's the Farrow. E. Farrow's in the house. You know, from Indianapolis. She used to produce or still does produce Candy Coated Nights. You know, the, the produce, the singer from Escape, Candy, uh, Candy, you know, the one Candy, the one that produced all of the records and made all of the money. Uh, the Candy, Candy, Candy. What's her name? Candy, Candy something. But she produced. That talk show she used to have, Candy Coated Nights. Happy birthday to you, E. Farrow. I want to say happy birthday to all of you and anyone else out there who should. I said, I said, happy birthday to all of you and anyone else out there who shares this birthday on this glorious, glorious, glorious March 23rd, anywhere out there in the world, worldwide. Yeah, Candy Burris. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Anywhere out there in the world, worldwide, internationally, and universally, all of y'all go ahead and turn up. Turn up, but don't turn up too loud. Just turn up loud enough so everybody can hear you. A uh, rock out, rock on it, do the damn, the damn, the rock out, rock on it, do the, do the damn, rock out, rock on it, do the damn thing and do your thing. Y'all represent the queens and kings and do your thing. Y'all represent the queens and kings. Good things happen to those who wait. Great things happen to those who grind, and any, any, to any, to, uh, anything can happen to those who go for theirs. So go hard, go for yours, and remember, 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 remember. Hey yo, son. Hey yo. When you know they ain't gonna make it. When you know they ain't gonna make it. What? When you know they ain't gonna make it. Yo, do you fake it? Do you give it to a bra or do you fake it? And when you know you ain't gonna make it, when you know they ain't gonna make it, do you do your diligence and your duty? Do your front and get booty, yo. When you know they ain't gonna make it, when you know they ain't gonna make it, and when you know they ain't gonna make it, do you keep it 100 real or do you fake it that? Well, I'm gonna tell y'all like this, man. Time is everything. Time is everything. And then, um, and if you get your timing down in the world, most things will go right for you. Because if your time is right, timing is right, a lot of things that would originally been no can be turned into yes. And I mean a positive yes. And a lot of times when the answer would have been yes and a the negative, they turned into a no on the positive side. But so, so, so if we get our timing down and yo, yo, I get a timing down, yo. Yo, get a timing down. We can know the who, what, where, and how to be successful. And we all want to be successful, y'all. Don't nobody here want to be a failure. 
Don't nobody want to be laughed at. Don't nobody want to be ridiculed. Don't nobody want to be humiliated. Nobody wants to be the one that they hated. Nobody wants to be at the bottom of the pack. Nobody wants to be somebody who don't know how to act. Nobody wants to be the one nobody likes. Nobody want to be treated like a dyke. If the straight y'all, get rid of the hate y'all. Uh, get the hate y'all. Just get it straight y'all. Yo, we're going to be right back here tomorrow morning. I'm sorry. We'll be right back here tomorrow evening, 7 o'clock. Be right back here at 7 o'clock. Be right back here at 7 o'clock. Yo, YouTube.com, Sun752. YouTube.com, Sun752. YouTube.com, Sun752. Act like you know. Act like you knew. Yo, so make sure y'all promote this channel, man. Because we won't make it, yo. I mean, I mean, you some cats say, yo, he ain't got what it takes, yo. He's fake. He ain't got what it takes, yo. He's fake. He ain't got what it takes, yo. He's fake. Yo, they getting suck a dick jumping in the lake. And that's where huh. Yes, sir, that's where It's going to be your ride and everything. It's going to be your ride. Thank you. Won't, uh. Yeah. I said, yo. It's going to be your ride. Think that it won't be your ride, but it will. Uh. Gonna take it there. It's gonna you know, body here. Gonna take it there. Yo, peace to all my day ones, my day ones. And my, eh, eh. My day ones, my brand news. And my everydays. Peace to my, all my day ones, my everydays, and my brand news. Thanks for coming through. Thanks for coming through. Glad you came through. And I hope you do another day too. We can start tomorrow. Always keep the height, never filled with sorrow. Everything is going to be okay. Yes, everything is going to be okay. Yeah. Hey, 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 hey. Yeah, yeah, hey, 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 yeah. Just Charlie and carry y'all. Get there and we don't have to worry. Uh, Carol Tembley is in the house. You know how she do. Uh, the spouse of us. Emily done laughing. Hey, you act like you know. Make sure that you share up. We carry right. Go make it through the night. Good looking out. Stay cook. And cook. Yo, yo, no. Read the book. Uh, 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 uh. Yeah. So we about to rock out, man. Holla back, Joe. You know what I mean? It's a good look. Remember this show? You know, when you know they ain't gonna make it. Don't let it be you. When you know they ain't gonna make it, don't let it be you. When you know they ain't gonna make it, don't let it be you. When you know they ain't gonna make it, don't let it be you, y'all. I get back, y'all. Yo, yo, I get back, y'all. All right. All right, man. You know what I'm saying? You know what I mean? Get out of here. Get up out of here, man. Peace. You know. Ah, you know what I'm saying? Using Blog Talk Radio. I said. Goodbye. Ah, peace, y'all.